Welcome back. So today we're going to take a very quick look at Do News EST 112. So this one was one of the early tribrids from early last year. Do New sort of delivered what people were really looking for, an affordable tribrid that delivered a nice sound quality. And I think they, they accomplished that. But sort of as the title implies here, I, I think it, it became sort of collateral damage in the season of tribrids last year you know it was early to market and they really delivered on an affordable set in a tribrid form and i think people were very receptive to it but you know not long after it was released you had oracle ej07m variations ends up you know it was a a very strong contender list and i think those sets ended up outperforming even though they may have been more expensive i think they you know, stole all the thunder from this guy, and those were sort of the sets that people remembered and continued purchasing throughout the year. And and I think EST one one two was sort of this. Um, it was still around, but you know, very much kind of hurt um, in the sales process by all these really great sets that came out afterwards. So um, we'll step through this kind of quickly. So EST one one two the one one two does. Sort of represent one dynamic driver, one BA, and two ESTs, and you can kind of compare that to EG07M with one DD, two BA, and four ESTs. So obviously a price difference between the two, but uh, that's the driver configuration of each one. And like I said, this one was early to launch, and that didn't necessarily translate into longevity in a year of great tribrids. And I think that's essentially what hurt um, EST112, as well as I think the tuning didn't quite stand up to uh, the follow-on sets as well. So two great sets, EJ07M and EST112, but EST112 is just a hair thinner for me. It's a little bit brighter in the upper treble, and it's a little bit more unforgiving. And let's take a very quick look at the graph here, and we'll kind of point out what I'm talking about. So base-wise, EJ07M in the green, you can kind of see it's got... Uh, more of a back end, more of a bass presence. This is, Dunu is just a little thinner. But as you get into the mids, they're actually very quite similar. And if you listen to them side by side and sort of ignore what's happening, how deep it goes, these two kind of sound similar about here. And then as you get into the gain area, you'll see Dunu does this early rise at about 2K and then drops down. Whereas EJ actually pops up a little later to three and then arcs down which is sort of more pleasing to my ears. Dunu does this early rise, drop, and then it rises into, it's actually kind of a crown W here. So you've got a 5K, there's some 8K, then this 10K should actually be this one. That's kind of, both of these 10K should be down a little bit. So they, they sort of push the treble out towards the upper treble and drop down the lower treble. And that's, you know, it's kind of interesting for certain instruments, but if you're very sensitive to these upper instruments and hearing them pop out of the mix, it ends up sort of ringing my ears staging-wise. It lifts it up in my head a little bit, and it makes imaging a little more difficult. It's just not a tuning that I prefer, and um, I would have much preferred if they just rose a little later than arc down, sort of like EJ07 does. And that's really the, the difference between the two sets is the two edges, so... Um, quite a bit more bass on EJ and uh, a lot more upper treble on, on EST-112. So depending on what your preferences are, you can sort of decide on those two. So for me, you end up with this early rise um, on EST-112, then the three peaks and the upper treble like I talked about. And EJ does this later rise, which still gives you energy in those female vocals, but not shouty. Early rise, you can hear it you know, very slightly. It's actually done quite well on EST-112, but it's still kind of there on for those of you who are sensitive to early rises at 2K. Um, but I do prefer it to arc down. So a track like All the Small Things by Blink-182, it's a hard track on, on most sets. EJ-07M, it has that lower end to kind of balance out the guitars and EST you know, less on the back end, the vocals and the guitar sound a little thin because they're elevated a little bit. 
it's a hard track and it's just one of those tracks that sort of pointed out why I'm not such a fan of that tuning of raising that upper treble like the way it does um, but you know it's very much a personal preference it's just not my personal preference then a track like Jimi Hendrix all along the watchtower um, you know that really opening those first opening notes um, quite unforgiving on sets that have elevated treble or you know maybe a slightly raw or unrefined upper treble and i think you know that track um, hits that hits those points on est 112 again another hard track on pretty much any set but um, again a reminder that i do prefer a more forgiving set um, on the treble side and then a track like Jimi hendrix hey joe and uh you know why i love ej07m is that really focus on mids and vocals and it just gets a little lost on EST-112, and, it, and it's very slight, and it's very much a nitpicking thing, but um, kind of noticeable when you put a little more energy out there on certain instruments in the upper treble, they become a little more distracting uh, over the vocals, and that's sort of what happens on Hey Joe. I was, I don't know, I was in a Jimi Hendrix mood. Um, for those of you who caught uh, Hawaii Bad Boys video on DQS, uh, DQ6S, he pointed to all on the watchtower and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a great track. So yeah, I was in a Jimi Hendrix mood for a while. So thank you for that. But normally, like I said, EST-112 and EJ-07M, they're not that far apart, especially in the mids. You know, through this part, it's actually, you know, ignoring the difference in the bass. These two actually aren't all that far apart. Um, I do prefer M's balance and it leans a little fuller with that bass level. EST-112, it still has uh, balance, but it's just, it just leans a little brighter, a little less bass and more upper treble, and you'll prefer one or, one or either one of those. Uh, it's up to you. I do definitely prefer the more relaxed treble on an EJ-07 style on a long session, but I definitely understand those folks who like a little more treble, a little more impact, a little more detail um, on ES EST-112, though. So stage is a bit different for me. EJ07M is always sort of centered at my ears, um, a wider presentation area. Uh, then with EST112, with that little extra treble, like I said, it tends to rise more uh, on my stage and it becomes harder to image and a little more fatiguing as everything sort of rises into the same area. It just becomes a little more cloudy, a little harder to track instruments when they tend to rise with that upper treble for me anyway. So, you know, generally if you're trying to decide between these two it really comes down to those bass and treble curves and which one works for you and uh, it just so happens that ej07 works for me so I, I prefer it but um they're not that far apart and um but you know up to you so again thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you next time